separate the men from the bars, motherfucker. Let's go. 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 Let
that things were in disarray in Wallace's camp. Wallace came, Wallace came out and admitted out of his own mouth that things weren't going right in his camp. I, I don't have the exact quote, but that's probably an accurate paraphrasing of it, right? And with all that being said, my brother's like, man, I'm not going to allow my brother to die for this guy, JD's. You, you feel me? Like for his pride. You know, this, this is everything that's going on in these camps, all of the disorderly nonsense, the lack of responsibility on Deontay Wallace's part, okay? Yeah, we can factor that in too. That led him into that fight with not having strong legs. I already said this before, bro. If this man was in there deadlifting, if he was doing squats, this man can do, bro, I do 300 body squats every day. No fail in the sun. I guess it in. Winter, rain, it don't matter, bro. I'm getting 300 body squats in, in all different variations. You understand? So my base is strong. So it's, it's no way on God's green earth. Me and Deontay Wallace is probably about 10 to 15 pounds off from each other, okay? No way, shape, form, or fashion. With, uh, with a costume that probably weighs just as much as the NFL, uh, what an NFL player wear with them shoulder pads and all the other extra equipment that them boys be wearing. You telling me that that don't weigh up to about 10 to 15, maybe 20 some odd pounds, probably weigh a little bit more if you got some, some, like a knee brace or something like that. Them boys is running all over the football field. You understand what I'm saying to you? They making, they, they have way more, uh, they come across more physical contact, you know, than, a boxer does, right? So, with all that being said, bro, you know, with everything in its totality, the value in this, right? We got to extract the value out of it. I already touched on the emotion. I already touched on the moral value. But we got to look at this thing from a, from a value standpoint as well, right? Now, Floyd Money Mayweather, 50 and 0, self-proclaimed TBE, and he's, you know, he's the, he's the face of boxing and probably will forever be, Okay? With all that being said, Floyd Money Mayweather has made it known publicly, and I'm quite sure he's made it known privately, that he's willing to help Deontay Wilder. He's willing to mentor him. Why would you turn down mentorship from one of the greatest boxers that's ever lived? Why would you turn down, you know, that kind of offer, bro? That's the offer of a lifetime. Just to come in for one camp, just one camp, right? And not only... Would that improve Deontay Wallace's chances of winning drastically on a lot of different levels, right? I can touch on that, but I think y'all understand what I mean, right? Wink, wink, right? We already know how the money team get down, you dig? When they fight, this is in trouble, things of that nature, right? So, you know, if Floyd show up to camp, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a big publicity stunt. I get it. But that will help Deontay Wallace's market value. That will boost the pay-per-view sales through the roof. You understand? And if Floyd Money Mayweather is willing and he's offering Deontay Wilder his services just off of the strength of, of you know what I'm saying, just off of the strength of, of what time of day it is, then how can Deontay Wilder turn that down? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, bro, it's loyalty over royalty. That's, that, was, that was my meaning in the last video, in the thumbnail, right? You know what I'm saying? This is all in the cumulative. This is foolish pride that Deontay Wilder is going out with. That's what I'm saying, bro. Man, he, he's, he's, he's basically going out on his shield. It's his loyalty shield. That's what he's doing right now, right? He's like, F it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. You know, I got JD. He's been with me from square one. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, uh, Malik Scott. This is my homie. This is my round. He's been with me for all these years. I trust this guy, right? But, bro, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with bringing in Floyd Money Mayweather just for one camp, maybe two? You, that's going to increase Deontay Wilder's chances of getting his hands back on that WBC title significantly, okay? So that increases Deontay Wilder's uh, value. That, that that will cause Deontay Wilder to break out to new highs, right? All over, yep, all over Floyd Money Mayweather just helping him. You know what I'm saying? Giving him the shot in the arm that he needs right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but you're going to have Al Heyman, Floyd Money Mayweather. You're going to have this big team of conglomerate, bro. You know what I'm saying? You making a partnership with, with Floyd Money Mayweather. I don't think that this man will ever set Deontay Wilder up for the okie doke if he's offering to help him and Deontay Wilder accepted the offer. That will reflect poorly on Floyd Money Mayweather and his legacy, right? So, you know, I just believe that it's a very intelligent move for Deontay Wilder's value from a market value perspective for him to reach out to Floyd Money Mayweather. I think that is a very wise move, right? 
you, you know, have a grandmaster in your ear just telling you, yo, you know, move your knight here because of this. Move your bishop here because of this. Stop pulling your queen out too early. You want to develop your pieces first before you pull out your queen, Deontay. You know, not everybody's going to fall for that, 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 you know what I'm saying, that, that, that uh, simple four move okie doke to checkmate. You know, you're dealing with a, a chess player when it comes to Tyson Fury, and he has an erratic way of positioning his pieces all over the board, and he's going to checkmate you every single time, every time, you, no matter how you try to look at it. If Deontay Wilder goes in with JDs and and um and Malik Scott into this trilogy fight, I'm telling you, bro, it's over for Deontay Wilder, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at the big picture, bro. I'm not writing Deontay Wilder off. You know what I'm saying? I think he's writing himself off, okay, as far as his boxing career. It's because he's playing with fire. You know what I'm saying? You're playing career suicide. He go in that ring and get knocked the fuck out by Tyson Fury, right? And that boy go overseas to the United Kingdom. And become a billionaire, fight Anthony Joshua twice. We already know what the end results of that's going to be. He's going to wind up defeating Anthony Joshua twice, right? You know what I'm saying? So, so you're going to allow that to happen, Deontay Wilder, right? They're going to shut you out. The fix is already in. They're already going to shut you out. They've already agreed to a two-fight deal in 2021. That's where all the belts are going to be at if you don't win this fight. If you had the WBC title, you can just sit on the sidelines for another year. Yeah, you're 34, 35 years old or whatever. You can just get some more training from Floyd Money Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Build your brand more. This is a massive partnership. You know what I'm saying? This is this is my participation in the market is I use other people's money, Right? That's the way you win, is using other people's money. Why not use Floyd Money Mayweather? Why not allow Floyd Money Mayweather to promote the fight or whatever? Whatever whatever Floyd wants to come in and do, bro, let him come in and do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? As long as it can guarantee you a victory in a fight and you don't lose your stance and position as being a boss, you the one that's in control. Floyd Money Mayweather is coming in to help you. If this not taking nothing away from Deontay Wilder other than, you know what I'm saying, extra mouth to feed or if this man is, is, is providing his services just off of the strength of what time of day it is, how can Deontay Wilder turn that down? Deontay Wilder is just too intelligent. He's too intelligent to continue to do these dun -dun 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 mistakes like this, bro, because he should have been prepared for that fight after coming off of a draw, period. Period. This real talk here. It's not no biased, foolish nonsense that I'm speaking. This is real talk. This is as real as it gets. You feel me? It's a smart move for Deontay Wilder to make a move with Floyd Money Mayweather. Now, I say all that to say is this, right? This is us just kind of uh, predicting, right? What you know how this how this how this movie is going to end, right? Of course, you know it's a drama-filled show. We already know Tyson Fury is going to come out. You know, uh, uh, just confusing, glitching, just throwing everybody off of his crazy nonsense, right? But I'm going to say this in defense of Deontay Wilder and both Tyson Fury. Y'all remember the lead up to the fight, the second fight, right? That it was all that smoke, all them fires, to proceed fires that was coming from Tyson Fury's camp. What they said, something was wrong with his leg. Um, that Tyson Fury was overweight, right? Um, that he, he, he had all these issues going on in his camp. He's hiring a new trainer. How can this new trainer... Help Deontay, uh, excuse me, how, yeah, how can he help Deontay Wilder, excuse me, I'm sorry, how can he help Tyson Fury, you know, get his stuff together in just one year's time, right? You're going against a killer in Deontay Wilder who has that massive right hand. How can Sugar Hill help conquer that? How, and, and all that fire, those perceived fires, it was all that smoke, right? Talking about, the, you know, you don't want that smoke. Well, clearly, Tyson Fury used the smoke, B-O-M-B, right? That's what he used. He and, and, and caused a big distraction. It was just a smoke screen, in other words, right? Put up that big smoke screen. He knew exactly where you was, and he opened F I R E on you, right? That's exactly what happened. And you didn't know what to do. You was in your foxhole, okay? That's what was happening. You had B O M Bs and all kind of RPGs and things of that nature. You know, of course, all this is proverbially, I'm talking about boxing here, nothing else, okay? This is, this is, you know, what they say is no atheist in the foxhole, bro. You understand? this? I'm not talking about war here. I'm talking about what was going on in that ring. You understand, uh, you bots? And, and, and I'm talking to the bots and the algorithms here. You understand? I'm not talking about nothing else, right? So, anyway, 
You see that, bro? I'm, I'm on game. I'm on point with mine. You did anyway, bro. I ain't want, I ain't want to drag this video out any longer. I think y'all get the point of what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury had this boy pinned down. I'm not saying that, you know, it was wise for Deontay Wilder to go out on his shield or whatever, bro. But trust me, bro. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? It's better to, 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 to be taken alive. In that situation, it's better to be taken alive. Then in my point of view, from my perspective, right, is because look at what you're able to generate now. You're in a position where you can continue your legacy. You're in a position where you can right your wrongs. You're in a position where you can you can maximize and make triple or quadruple the amounts of your money if you make the right moves, right? I understand this is a loyalty thing with Deontay Wilder and JDs. I understand this is a loyalty thing between Deontay Wilder and Malik Scott. I understand that Deontay Wilder has this pride. I understand that Mark Brennan crossed the line by doing something he wasn't supposed to do, but I think I've already covered that, and if y'all ain't got no understanding about what I'm talking about, bro, then this ain't, this ain't meant for you. I'm going to cut it out right here, you know what I'm saying? It's because I know a lot of y'all have short attention spans, but you can't tell me that what I'm saying right now is not in my opinion, that's the best move for Deontay Wilder. Now, look, like I say, you know, maybe all of this is a smoke screen that Deontay Wilder's throwing up. Maybe he's using the same confusing tactics that Tyson Fury used against him to throw him off, right? Maybe that they're showing that, you know, it's the order, it's the order W-A-R, right? That's what this is right now, right? But I, I just, bro, I, I just think that, you know, we all thought the same thing about Tyson Fury, and, and, and we know how the end result of that was. You know, and it, it, this is the same thing that we're doing with Deontay Wilder. So there's there's a chance that De Deontay Wilder always has a punch of chance. You got to get that to him. But but if Deontay Wilder goes in that ring and and he he knocks out Tyson Fury, right, and, and becomes WBC champion on his own terms without Floyd Money Mayweather, well, hell, you know, man, blessings to Deontay Wilder, bro. He, we all going to eat crow at that point in time. You feel me? I'm eating crow. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it be known. I was dead wrong. I, I will apologize to my brother publicly. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 will, I will do that without a shadow of a doubt. But don't sit here and try to tell me this tribalistic bullshit, right? Because I'm going to tell y'all right now. See, none of y'all none of y'all been in a position before where you done lost people that's, that's close to you. Nines out of ten, a lot of y'all ain't lost people that's been close to you, bro. You understand? When you could have done something to intervene, that's something that weighs heavy on you. That's something that will put you in a position where you will want to escape from reality, all right? Do you understand? Do you understand? A lot of y'all just can't perceive that. A lot of y'all are barbaric. A lot of y'all are savages. A lot of y'all moral compasses are pointing towards the South. That's why y'all all got y'all head up y'all asses right now. Because y'all think that for some strange reason that Deontay Wilder made a, a, a wise move by asking more brilliant. And like I said before, if, if Deontay Wilder don't come out and we're proof of evidence... Uh, substantial concrete proof. I'm not talking about no stupid text messages that we can anybody can generate that. No no Photoshop nonsense neither. You feel me? Some significant video footage of him handing the blueprint over to uh to Sugar Hill and them people. You feel me? Or or, or vice versa. Sugar Hill and them handing in Mark Brillen the game plan and telling him, hey, you need to do this. If you ain't got no wire set up, if you ain't got no substantial evidence, bro, then it was just a bad move in asking Mark Brillen. You feel me? That was just a that was immoral responsibility, lack of responsibility, excuse me. And I, I believe in karma, bro. Like what Deontay Wilder said, he believe in eye for eye. He said this himself. He came out and said this himself, bro. We all saw what happened with Dylan White. We all saw what happened to um Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Karma came back and bit him on the butt. We all see what's going on with Gerald Big Baby Miller. I will hope and I pray that Deontay Wilder don't suffer the same mistakes again. You feel me? I hope he's smart enough not to suffer the same mistakes again. I'm going to end this video with that. Maybe Deontay Wilder's putting up a smoke screen. Maybe he comes out and, and he'll shock and surprise Tyson Fury, which I doubt. I highly doubt it, bro. I highly doubt it. We know who Deontay Wilder is. We know what his behaviors are. We already, we already have enough data. Deontay Wilder has over 45 professional fights. We know exactly what Deontay Wilder is. We know who he is, right? But if he brings a mastermind, a grandmaster in his camp, in his corner, like Floyd Money Mayweather, then you're saying something. Now you, now you done, now you done 
done, done, done swung the, the odds in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it, Deontay Wilder, if you're listening to this video of anybody out there that's close to Deontay Wilder that's listening to this video, you dig? It's just common sense. You know what I'm saying? I, it's in my personal opinion that Floyd Money Mayweather will be the right choice, will be the right option. Deontay Wilder, make the right choice here, bro. Do the right thing. Do the right thing, bro. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. I'm done with this one. It's your boy, Ewa Boxing Prophet. Signing out to the next one. I'll let your boy 100. Whoop, I'm out.